what we're going to do is create a surface inside of Carlson's survey, transfer that via Land XML, and open it in Autodesk Civil 3D. I'm using the Carlson Survey standalone 2010 version. Not that it really matters, the AutoCAD add on version or other versions, such as the IntelliCAD version, will work the same. The first thing I'm going to do is in the survey menu, I'm going to create a, uh, a surface. So inside of Carlson Survey, I'm going to go to Surface, Triangulate, and Contour. I will create a triangulation file called Surface Model. I'll set an inclusion. Uh, I'll tell it to draw contours just so I can see that it did what it's supposed to. And then I'll tell it there's my boundary, no exclusion, and I want a window around everything. Okay, so I got some errors. I'm not going to worry about those. I do want to verify that my surface did what it's supposed to do. So I'm going to do the surface 3D viewer. And I'm going to look at the surface model. And there we go. So based on the data that was in this file, in the graphics, that's what we're going to get. So everything looks good there. What I'll do inside of Carlson is I'll go to File, and I'll tell it to Land XML Export a Land XML file. I'm going to select the data files because I want to manually pick the things that go as opposed to letting it do whatever it wants to do. And I'll give it a name. And then Carlson asks for the data files to use and I will add the coordinate file and then I'll take the surface model 10 file. I could also include files such as uh, alignment files, centerline files, profiles, things like that. Uh, I'm going to take just these two. I'll tell it to continue. What unit I'm going, in a survey feed, feed or metric. And then point protection turned on, export element protection. And then the number of decimal places of precision for each of these inside the XML. I'll hit export, it writes the files, and just like that, my XML file is created, including the 10 and the points. Now inside of Autodesk Simple 3D, this is the 2009, not the 2010 version, but again, should make no difference here. What we'll do on the file menu is we will import a land XML. I'll go to the same place I just saved, the XML file is under data. There's my XML file and it asks me what I want to bring in. There's my surface and there are my points. Okay. There was an issue with the surface on some of the triangles. It gives me a warning. And just like that, my data is brought in. So there are all my points. And once all the data is imported, we can go to the surface menu and we can uh, edit the surface style, picking the boundary. And now we can come in and tell it whether we want to see triangles, what color we want them to be, and then our major and minor contours. So I'll adjust the colors to get these the way I want. So we get everything adjusted the way we want. If we wish to see contours, we can go to the contour intervals, and I'll tell it to show one and five foot contours. We can adjust the smoothing and all the other contour settings. We'll hit OK. And just like that, we took our surface and our points from Carlson Survey into Civil 3D using Land XML as the transfer mechanism.